So Ubuntu 19.10 gets released and I decide the best course of action is to install KDE Neon. Yes, let's go back a year instead of forward. <laughs> I've got to love my logic sometimes, but I can at least get the latest and greatest in KDE instead of the latest and greatest in Ubuntu. I know I could have installed the backports repository in Kubuntu and I did that before and it worked very well, but they are lagging behind a little bit compared to KDE Neon. So I can at least have the nice shiny new features in KDE. Anyway, talking about new features, I thought I would show you something that I saw recently in the Twitter feed from a Snap application. And I know I've been very critical of Snaps, but at least this one won't have any theming issues because it's a command line application. <laughs> There's nothing to theme, there's nothing to theme, nothing to break. So I'm going to do sudo snap install ubuntu iso download. The ubuntu iso download is well, pretty much as the name says, it's going to download the iso files from the canonical website. And it carries out a checksum validation so you know the file you've downloaded is complete and not corrupt in any way. So I'm going to do a dry run first and I'm going to grab a copy of Ubuntu Mate. And now here's where you need to know the version name. So Ubuntu 19.10 is codenamed Eon. So that downloads a daily live ISO. Why, why is it still downloading the live ISO files? That, that's what I don't get. I, I would actually say that's wrong there. Downloading the Ubuntu distribution itself is not the right term to use. You have to use desktop or server. You're still going to download from the daily repository again. <laughs> okay, so that's just weird. Uh, we're gonna take it that it's so close to final release that they've not switched the repository across. I wonder if you can type in a version number. Well, as it turns out, you can't, but it does tell you the code names you can use. I'll have to give you a link to the Ubuntu Wiki release page to find out the version numbers to code names. But Ubuntu 18.04 is codenamed Bionic. So that one's going to download the formal release, which is what I expected from Aeon. So can you mess around further? Karmic? <laughs> Karmic has an unsupported release? Oh, very good. So it knows the previous release names. Anyway, I'm going to grab a copy of Kubuntu again, just to show what happens here. So I don't know what I really expected from such a small application, but I guess it's given me something more to talk about than uh, I might have expected. Now I notice it doesn't do the hash sum validation here on the daily images, but I guess it doesn't have the hashes for those. But if you want the download, it's there in your home folder. Small comment with this, it has not renamed it to the derivative, so I've just got Eon Desktop AMD64. Great. Which one is it? What happens if I download more? Actually, what does happen if I download more of them? It's one way to find out, isn't there? Mate. So, have you just overwritten it? You have as well. <laughs> okay, time to go back to the drawing board. So that was look at the Ubuntu ISO downloader. I think a bit more work is needed there, especially if uh, the renaming of the derivatives was sorted out, then you wouldn't have overwritten a file. But uh, I guess that is another way of downloading the ISO files. Uh, should you not be able to get on the internet? Should you not want to use wget? Should you not want to use any other method but want to use a snap instead? Great. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you all later.